Okay, guys, joined by Harry Kane after his 100th oh. appearance for England this evening. Uh, we've only got a quick five minutes, so if we can get straight into it and use the microphone available. So uh, please raise your hand if you're willing to ask a question. Sammy? You're right there. Thank you. Harry, so obviously a special night. Could the, what happened on the pitch been any better for you? Uh, no, it was almost, uh, yeah, a perfect night, you know, as a... As a striker, of course, on my 100th cap, I wanted to, to score a goal and, and make the night as memorable as possible and, yeah, to win the game as well. So to score, you know, a couple of good goals, a couple of nice finishes and uh, help the team win 2-0 was, was uh, yeah, pretty much perfect. So, um, yeah, a proud night for me and the family and, and now we can enjoy it. Do you want a hat-trick? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I had enough, I had enough shots to, to get the hat-trick, but um, no, I think Lee spoke about, you know, managing... Uh, some minutes with a lot of games coming up, so uh, of course I'd have loved to have stayed on, but uh, no hard feelings for that. Peter Grell, Delaney. Hi, Harry. Uh, you said yesterday uh, the goal away to Poland was your favourite technically. Uh, what about that first today? Where does that rank? Yeah, that's right up there, to be honest. Um, obviously, a great ball from, from t uh, Trent through the lines, and um, yeah, to you know have a little nutmeg and then strike it the way I did was. Uh, yeah, a, a great finish, so nice to see it kind of come off the other side of the bar. So, uh, yeah, both of them, yeah, I think on, on your 100th cap night, uh, will go down as uh, a couple of my favourites for sure. Jonathan, you want Harry, there was um, sort of lovely footage of your family in the box applauding when you scored the goals. I mean, what does it mean to you to, to have them here tonight? Yeah, no, really special. Um, my son weren't really having it before the game. He had a bit of a, a bit of a meltdown. It's a bit past his bedtime, so uh, yeah, he didn't he didn't fancy coming out in the rain. So um, yeah, thankfully my wife was there to, to look after him. But no, it's a great occasion. Um, obviously, I think they're a little bit young still to kind of understand uh, you know, what's really going on. But um, I think they're special memories when you know we're older and we can look back and see them on the pitch. Um, it, you know, everything I do wouldn't be possible with, without them. So, um, yeah, a special night. You know, I've had some good ones in an England shirt, and, and this is right up there for sure. Hi, Harry. After a night like that, uh, your age and 68 goals, do you have a target in your mind, a number of goals you think you can reach? Not really a target specifically, but, you know, uh, like I've touched on before, I feel uh, in a good place. So uh, I try to never set limits on what I can achieve. Uh, I know playing in this team, I'm going to get chances, and if I get chances, I feel like I can score many goals. So, um, yeah, I'm going to keep going as, as long as I can, and uh, who knows what we can reach. You know, some of the top players in the world have uh, you know, scored more than I have, so, uh, you know, there's targets there to try and achieve. Okay, James. Hi, Harry, congratulations. Thank you. Um, just in you told TV, you know, you, you talk about being motivated by wanting to prove people wrong, which is something you said yesterday in the press. Can you give us sort of an example of a particular bit of criticism that you've had that maybe you've used as motivation? I'm not too sure. I think um, I mentioned yesterday about it being from, you know, probably a young age, just uh, being doubted to go on and do what I've done. And I think that helps uh, keep me focused and motivated in training and games. Uh, but I just think in general, I think nowadays, you know, as a, as a footballer, um, you know, you're going to get criticism, you're going to have people talk about you as a player. And um, I think I've always spoke about, you know, when things are not going your way, trying to use that to, to motivate you and, and bring an energy and bring, you know, a hunger inside, inside you to, to go and perform and not just prove other people wrong, I just think just prove to yourself that you can keep, you know, uh, maintaining this level and, and keep pushing. And that's what I talk about, you know, there'll be a time... I'm not sure when that, you know, the level will drop and you won't quite feel the same. But whilst I feel like I do, I want to keep pushing the boundaries. And uh, I think uh, I showed that out there tonight. And, you know, come October, uh, I'll be ready to go again. Jackson at the back. Hey, uh, firstly, congratulations. Thank you. Um, what does it say about the professionalism and the uh, chemistry of this team that you're able to, that they were able to keep targeting you without taking away from the rhythm of the game? Yeah, no, I thought it was a really good game. I mean, um, even though we went in at nil-nil at half-time, I thought we were for sure the better team. We had some good chances. Um, so it was just about, you know, continuing what we've done. Uh, it was similar to the Ireland game, but obviously we scored a couple early in that game, which, you know, made that seem a lot better than what it was. So at half-time, it was just to stay patient, keep moving the ball, keep getting into those areas, keep having forward runners and getting balls in the box. And, and we knew if we just kept knocking on the door, the, the goals would come. So, uh, yeah, thankfully we broke kind of the deadlock at a good time in the game before 
it started getting to that area where the other teams just start to really camp in and make it difficult. So um, overall, really good performance. I think, uh, you know, Lee's come in and done a great job and uh, we've played both games with a lot of freedom. And um, yeah, I hope that we've excited some of the England fans. Hi, Harry. Hi. Have you thought much about how you will adapt your game and, and what sort of things you'll do as you move through your 30s? Yeah, I'm not too sure. I, I spoke before, you know, I feel like a player who can play as a number nine, play as a number 10, you know, uh, even areas in midfield that I like to drop into and, and try and hurt teams as well. So a lot of it depends on the manager you're playing with. You know, maybe, um, yeah, as you get a little bit older, you might want to drop in, but I still feel like, you know, I can be really effective in the, the opposition spots with obviously my finishing and, and my movement. So, um, yeah, for the time being, it's to do the same what I've always done and to play as that nine and ten, depend, depending on the games. But, um, yeah, who knows, maybe later on in my 30s, a manager might want me to, to drop a little deeper and, and use my passing to hurt teams. But, yeah, for now, you know, I'm still uh, scoring the goals I need to score to, to be a, a good number nine. Last one here. If, if you could take yourself back to your, your early days, back to your loan at Millwall when you're winning awards, and or back to your, your loans, Leicester City and Norwich, etc. If you could talk to yourself back at that time and tell you about, about what you would have achieved at this point and, and about this day, um, what would you what would you be saying? What, what would those highlights be? Uh, yeah, to be honest, I don't think you know. I was even I would have been thinking of 100 caps when I was on loan at, at Millwall and and Leicester, Norwich. You know, at that time it was just about trying to get back to, into the Spurs team, use the experience I got to, to play in the Premier League. And um, I mean, I've always had a good self-belief that I'm able to play at, at any level. But, uh, you know, I've learned a lot over, over the years from, from those times to, you know, Maurizio when he was at Spurs to all the eras at Spurs and now at Bayern, Bayern Munich. I feel like, the, um, you know, the game's evolving a little bit. Managers are a little bit different in how they approach the game. So that's just, you know, great for me to be able to, to keep learning. So, um, yeah, I would have for sure been proud if uh, I knew I was going to reach 100 caps. But, um, yeah, like I always say, you know, hopefully 101 and 102 in October and um, a couple more goals as well. Okay, thanks, everyone. Cheers, guys. Thank you.